violated. I mean, she violated my trust. She violated my house. I think she was in here when I wasn't here, when I went up home. New at 6 tonight, a Columbia woman is facing possible charges for reportedly stealing from her disabled neighbor. Morgan Futes worked as a home health aide, but over a month's time, she noticed more things were missing and called police. Today, ABC 17's Lindsay Burning talked to the victim to find out what happened. She joins us outside her house, and Lindsay, police claim that Futes uh, pawned jewelry worth more than $1,000. Joey Kim Wamsley says she's only known Morgan Futes and her family for a couple of months. She hired Futes to come over once or twice a week to help with cleaning, laundry, and picking up medication. She said Futes even had multiple references of home health agencies she'd worked for in the past. At the beginning of August, Wamsley started to notice small things going missing. Family heirlooms. She took my mother's wedding ring. She took my great-grandmother's locket. She took my grandmother's rings. You know, all, all, my, all my family's dead now. And she took all that jewelry and she pawned it. Then at the end of August, Kim Wamsley says she gave Morgan Futes her debit card and asked her to pick up a prescription. She became suspicious when Futes didn't come back for three hours. She checked her bank account and noticed there were several charges on her card from a grocery store. The next morning, she called her bank to freeze her card. She also filed fraud and theft charges with police. Wamsley says a full bottle of Vicodin and a book of checks were stolen as well. She says the jewelry stolen was worth much more to her than money. What would that do for her but get her a little bit of money? But that all was memories for me. Wamsley says out of everything that was taken, she only got back one necklace and one antique fork. Police told her they think the pawn shops melted down most of her jewelry. Columbia police arrested Futes Thursday for a stealing felony and a misdemeanor warrant for, un, uh, for operating an unlicensed motor vehicle. Live in Columbia, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. Lindsay, thank you. Futes bonded out of jail for $4,700 and at last check, charges haven't yet been filed.